Hey uh, guys, back again, and today guys is another random video guys, so don't know what the title's going to be on this one yet, but basically guys, in a nutshell, I am selling my Xbox One guys, um, I put up a random video earlier guys, I will apologise in advance for that, I mean I shouldn't have really done it, looking back at it now I should have been the bigger person, just like, just let them have their fun and walk away from it sort of thing, um, I kind of let myself go down to their level and put sarcasm with sarcasm is what I call it anyway. But looking back at it, guys, you know, I should have been the bigger person. You know, I'm not I'm not a kid anymore, you know. I should have really just left it at that, guys. But anyway, that video is just me fighting sarcasm with sarcasm, guys. At the end of the day, people are going to have different opinions. And it's not me trying to ram my opinion down someone's throat more than it is they're ramming their opinion down mine. Um... It's the way it should be. But I don't like sarcasm, guys, at the end of the day. Yeah, I have a, I have, I've got banter. I like having jokes with anyone. But, you know, when you're going to come at me and make it sound like everything I'm talking about is just literally like get over it sort of thing when it's not really. It's something uh, that's going to impact something you collect, something you do, and also the fabrication of how people work and live in life because people don't, might not understand that gaming is just gaming, but it's not. If it crashes tomorrow and the whole gaming industry goes under, that's the economy fucked in a whole nutshell. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, there's a ripple effect from it, guys. I've gone into that before, but anyway, it's, this, this video is not about that. So I will say, guys, I apologize for that now. But going to this video, guys, yes, I have decided to sell my Xbox One, guys. I'm not buying another one. So I want to get into the reasons why I'm selling it. Um, overall, guys, it's just not holding a purpose to me anymore. I was mainly keeping it for disc-based games, uh, again, and I wanted to have the exclusives that would come out on Xbox, guys, i.e. the new fucking Flight Simulator 2024. Now, upon knowing it's digital only, guys, there is no point me holding on to my Xbox anymore. Um, I'm not into a digital market. I will buy PlayStation 5 physical for as long as I can, guys, until the day they try and go digital, and then I'm pulling out the market, guys. I'm not interested. I'll buy an emulator-style machine and have tens of thousands of games on that and say, there you go, I'm done. I'd rather do that than, than feed the ego of a company that wants to charge you 60, 70 pounds for a digital game, and then they're in control of it the whole time you own it, guys, saying they're going to turn the servers off, they're going to take you off the internet, whatever, guys. It's just not worth the hassle for me. So, I figured I would quit make this video guys to show off the uh collection i managed to get as the physical games um the actual console is going to a family member um so yeah they're gonna hopefully enjoy it they don't own any other systems so for them this is going to be their main main console so they're going to get to play you know the games i've already got on ps5 and something like that guys you know they're going to get to do that but for me it's just not worth keeping um don't get me wrong i love Fozzer motorsport but you know, taking a bit of a cliche book out of the other people's playbook here. If I wanted to play it, guys, I can go on Steam. I can download it onto my PC. It's not like I can't play it at all. The reason I buy a home console, guys, is for base disc space games. It is for me to have a home console. I don't want a digital console. I don't want that, guys. So for me, I just thought, fuck it, I'll sell it. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. I've got a big bundle of games here that's still new and sealed. Even Mafia Trilogy Clash, guys, new and sealed. Um, again, like you know, back in the day, I said about picking them ones up and that. We've got games galore all the way along, guys, from all the Halos and stuff like that. Yes, I will miss the Halo collection, but again, I can't justify keeping an Xbox just for the basis of, say, five, six games. It's not like the original Xbox versus the PlayStation 2. They was a real gaming console war. We had games like Blinks the Cat and Project Gotham Racing versus, say, your Gran Turismo 2, and, and you know, there were just games galore, guys. There's too many games for me to even mention the Xbox and PlayStation 2 era was the absolute king of gaming. And it's just like the king of gaming when it came to the Mega Drive versus the Super Nintendo. Now, people can say, yeah, you got Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo and you got it on the Mega Drive. But they were still far in between each other. They were both superior to each other. The Mega Drive might have had something that the Super Nintendo didn't and Super Nintendo had something that the Mega Drive didn't. I would have to say, I'm not even going to lie, guys. Overall, I think the Super Nintendo outplayed the Mega Drive in graphics. 
It really, really did. But the Mega Drive has a good place in my heart. It's a great system. So, um, like I said, I do own both systems. So, I do click for both. But I do think that both Mega Drive and Super Nintendo was a great console war again, guys. This is the problem in today's gaming. We've got the specky little nerds coming in that don't understand what a real console war is. Where you can't make a decision on PlayStation and Xbox is better. You have them both because they've both got hard-hitting titles you want to play. They don't do that anymore. Let's prove it, guys. I can get that on the PlayStation. 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 Exclusive to the Xbox. PlayStation. Exclusive to the Xbox and PC. PlayStation. 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 See what I mean, guys? It's just not worth it. For the actual basis of what I bought this console for, it's not worth keeping for me, guys. And, you know, people might contradict and go, what about Game Pass, you know? I'm not into digital games, guys. I'm not into it. Like I said, right, I don't care if PlayStation said they'll do it for 4 a month, and all you can do with that is have the internet so you can play with your games online. I don't care about the free games, guys. Every time they're like, oh, free games this month, I've already fucking got it. I'm, a, I'm an old school gamer, right? And people can take the piss out of my old school ways. I don't care, right? All jokes aside, I like to see what I'm paying for. And it does with anybody else. Nobody in the world would buy anything. Well, normal people wouldn't buy anything you couldn't see. You go in the street and say, give me a pound, give me a pound. They go, what do I get for a pound? What do I get for giving you a pound? You say, nothing. They tell you the fuck off. But this day and age today, kids, they're so used to getting it, getting it early, getting it when they want it. You know, digital's the way forward because, oh, you could just download it and have it that day. There's no such thing anymore as the commodity of going out and buying a game. They just want it, want it their way all the time. You know, like the latest iPhone, you'll have some nerd out there telling you what's so good about the latest iPhone. But yet to me, a phone is about making phone calls. Don't get me wrong, I'm using my phone right now to make this video. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not what I bought the phone for. I fucking use it for phone calls. You know, I admit, I browse the internet on it. It's simple and it's easy and it's, it can do it. So I do it. However, I won't go out of my way to go buy a brand new phone for three grand to do the same thing I can do with this one, guys. At the end of the day, right, it is personal preference. It is the way you look at the things you buy. It's the way you see technology. It's the way you want to represent yourself. If you're one of these people that's got to be in the it crowd, you know, the cool kid, as they say, oh, I've got the latest of everything every single time. I'm always up to date with everything. Then fine, you go do you, boo. But at the end of the day, I don't care, right? I, I, I'm one of these people that's old school. I like my physical games. I like my physical media. I still believe in going to the restaurant to buy your food and then going home with it. I don't always think about the Deliveroo app. And the fucking Just Eat app and Netflix and all of that crap, guys. I'm I'm one of these people that believes in old school ways. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. Simple as that. But like I said, uh, this is my way of saying I'm getting rid of my Xbox, guys. It is going. And um, you know, I said, it's, it's not even a bit of sweet sad for me because... Don't get me wrong, the graphics on the Xbox is fantastic. I've uploaded some gameplays you've seen recently, guys, on Forza Horizon. And I've said it's an awesome, awesome game. And it is. It really is, but it doesn't contemplate keeping a 500 or something pound console about when you could just get it on Steam and play it on the PC if you really, really wanted to. So, for you know, it's not worth me going, oh, i got an Xbox One just for Forza Horizon. It's not worth it. So, you know, and like I said, one day you never know. The way Xbox is opening the doors nowadays... PlayStation's probably going to get Forza Motorsport in the next, say, five or six years anyway. I wouldn't surprise me one bit if they don't, guys, because the marketing now, Xbox is kind of like closing the door now on video games altogether. They're going down like a bit of like a Sega route, sort of like saying, you know, we're not really doing Xbox consoles anymore. We're kind of going into the market of selling our games and IPs to everybody and having it for everyone. So if that's the market they're going for, then, you know, hats off to them more and more. More to the PlayStation owner. I mean, look, Indiana Jones has come to the PlayStation 5 now, guys. That was an Xbox exclusive. It's going to the PlayStation 5. So, you know, Xbox, unfortunately, I think, although you think you've won the war, you haven't. You've lost the war and you're losing more and more every day because the whole idea of it was to buy a console, to have a war. I mean, you've got the Nintendo. Nintendo's got everything to do with Mario, everything to do with Kirby, everything to do with Zelda. And the game IPs go on and on and on. Nintendo has always been loyal to the fans and know what they want. Are they, do, they, do they sell digital games? Yes, they do. But they don't market it, you know. They do do the physical game as well, and they do have a lot to offer for their fans. 
Now, people do moan, say, you know, we want Mario Kart 9 and blah, blah, blah. And we'll get it at some point and someday we'll get it. But I don't see that with the Xbox versus PlayStation, guys. I don't see the reason. I mean, I've been a PlayStation fan longer, obviously. PlayStation was here first. Xbox came into the scene in 2001 when the PlayStation 2 had already been out a year. And, yeah, don't get me wrong. The PlayStation did have to put up his boxing gloves, guys. The Xbox original... 2001, you know, they had a good conference, you know, Bill Gates and that said about it. The Rock was there introducing it. And let's not get things twisted, guys. The Xbox original came out swinging. They put PC ported games onto it. We had exclusive wrestling games, exclusive racing games, exclusive fighting games. And that's my point, guys. Exclusive. That word is very hard to say when it comes to the Xbox, guys. There is not enough of them. And I can't lie. It's the same with the PlayStation. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting there jumping on the PlayStation wagon. They're doing the same. Apart from Ratchet and Clank and um, God of War, Ragnarok, and that lot. Really, there's not really a console war happening here. You know, in like even PS3 games, we had fucking Resistance Fall of Man and all that lot. And they just dropped the ball, guys. There should be a new Resistance Fall of Man by now. There should be a remastered version of it or something. We should have some form of great games coming sole purposely to the PlayStation as well as the Xbox, making it worth the point of owning all the consoles. There is not that valued point out there anymore, so there's no point owning an Xbox, in my opinion. Or if you've got an Xbox collection, there's no point you owning a PlayStation 5, because the same thing. It doesn't just go one way, it goes both ways. If you're an Xbox player, there's no point you going out and buying a PS5, because you can get majority, if not 90% of the games, on your Xbox. Ragnarok's just gone to PC, so you can even get that on there, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, um, yeah, that's my, my version, you can call it a rant if you want, I'm just giving my opinion yet again, guys, into why I'm selling my Xbox One and not looking back, it's just not a viable console to me anymore, I just don't see the point in owning it when I got a PS4 and a PS5 and their games are the same as the Xbox, there's just not enough exclusives for me to want to keep it, so... Yeah, let me know down below, guys, what you think. Would you sell it? Would you not sell it? I mean, that's my opinion. Like I said, I did a rant earlier, and I was a, I was a child about it. I will say I was. Um, you know, I'm not trying to piss people off. I'm not trying to cause a fucking argument with everybody I see on the internet, guys. But I just felt like it was a comedy moment, and we thought it, I thought it'd be fun to come back with sarcasm and sarcasm. But looking back at it, yeah, it ain't something I'm proud of, guys. So I do apologize if it upset people or piss people off. It ain't what I was trying to do. So, yeah, but on that note, guys, like I said, do get involved if you want to get involved. doesn't matter if your opinion doesn't match my opinion. If you think I'm, you know, making a mistake or you think I'm right, maybe you feel like Xbox is better than PlayStation because of the Game Pass, whatnot. But, you know, my valuable point is there's just not enough exclusives on either system to keep one or the other. Now, I'm, I'm PlayStation through and through. Like I said, I've got over 1,000 physical PlayStation 1, 4 games, guys. No, you got that wrong. And they work on my PS5. So, therefore, look, my PS5 is more, vi more you know, viable for me to use that and then I've got loads of PS5 games to play as well. So it's a more viable console to me. I've been a PlayStation fan since 1994. And simple as that, guys. Um, I still play it for my PS1, PS2, 3, 4, and obviously 5. So it was just the right decision to make, guys. But anyway, this is the last look, guys. Well, kind of look, I should say, at the Xbox One games, guys. I'll quickly just pan over. Just for a laugh. I mean, I, I'll, I'll still see these games because I know where they're going. And like I said, they don't own any other system. This is the only um, new-gen system they'll have. They've got a Nintendo Switch, but this is their new-gen. You know, they ain't got PlayStation 5. So this is what they're going to be playing, guys. There's a lot of new and sealed games right here that I never even played. So like I said, they'll enjoy them. They'll play them. The reason I never played them, guys, because I already own them. Like Mafia Collection, already own it. Um, what we got here? Obviously, I didn't know Crackdown, but I, never, I heard bad reviews about it. But look, Hoko Life and, uh, you know, Ukulele got this on PS4, so I don't need to open it on this one. NBA, I do. I, no. And then, you know, like Dishonored, I've got it on PS4. So, yeah, I said, guys, they're the reasons I didn't get open. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, on that note, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Gameplays will be coming up again soon as normal. But for now, I'll say... Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, do excuse the rant video earlier. It's just me being a giant child, guys, but take it as a bit of banter. At the end of the day, I realized it coming across more as an online bully. I don't want it to do that, guys, so I apologize in advance. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.